Microshift's Advent X 10-speed derailleur is one of their one-by mountain and gravel derailleurs. In this video, I'm going to measure the pull ratio of this derailleur, and I'll show how this derailleur pushes the limits of how derailleurs work. The Advent X derailleur has a standard cable-actuated derailleur design. Pulling cable moves the chain toward the bike, selecting easier gears, while relaxing cable allows the derailleur to move away from the bike, selecting harder gears. The derailleur has a clutch that helps maintain chain tension over uneven terrain. I turned the clutch off to make this derailleur easier to measure. When measuring the motion of a derailleur, I pull small amounts of cable and measure how far the guide pulley moves as a result. To measure the motion of the derailleur, I did three runs pulling cable and three runs relaxing cable by one third of a millimeter at a time, taking 577 measurements in total. Here you can see how the rate of derailleur movement changes as you pull more cable. To figure out the average pull ratio, I first found the best fit line through each of the six runs. Then, I combined the best fit lines of all the runs into a single equation. The pull ratio isn't constant, so I used the equation to average the pull ratio from the second smallest cog to the second largest cog. The blue line is the measured pull ratio. I used the blue line to determine the average pull ratio of 1.05. On average, pulling one millimeter of cable moves the guide pulley by 1.05 millimeters. Additionally, I measured the yaw of this derailleur by mounting it horizontally and placing an angle finder on the cage. I did three runs pulling cable by one millimeter at a time, taking 141 measurements. Similarly, I created a yaw curve by combining the best fit lines for all three runs. I found that the guide pulley points away from the bike by about 2.8 degrees at the smallest cog and points toward the bike by about 2.6 degrees at the largest cog. This project is all about compatibility between stuff that shouldn't be compatible. To figure out how components could be compatible, I created a list of components that are officially compatible and started studying them to learn more about what makes them compatible. I have two models for what makes a shifter, derailleur, and cassette compatible. The first compatibility model compares the average shift to the cog pitch. Looking at all of the supported combos I've measured, I determined that on average, the cog pitch is about 4% bigger than the average shift. If you showed me any combination of compatible shifter, derailleur, and cassette, I would expect that the cog pitch would be about 4% bigger than the average shift amount. Additionally, I used some statistics to set the maximum difference at about 9%. This means that most of the time, I expect the cog pitch to be 9% bigger than the average shift, or less. I distilled this relationship into a single number, which I'm calling a motion multiplier. Here you can see the number of combinations with each motion multiplier, and you can see that it is starting to look like a nice bell curve. However, you can see that there is one outlier far to the right. Looking at the data another way, it's clear that the Microshift Advent X group is the outlier, with a motion multiplier that's twice as far from the average as the next closest, the Shimano Q's 10-speed group. This is both very interesting and very strange. There must be some design feature that allows Microshift to do this. The second compatibility model looks at the maximum chain angle from the guide pulley to the cog. To give you an idea of what this looks like, here's an exaggerated view of the chain on a Q's 10-speed group. The guide pulley in its various shift positions is represented by the green lines at the top, and the cogs in the cassette are represented by the blue lines on the bottom. You can see the chain flexing sideways to reach from the guide pulley to the cog in many of the shift positions. The angle we're concerned with is the angle of the chain where it reaches the cogs at the bottom. On a compatible shifter, derailleur, and cassette, I would expect the maximum chain angle to be about 4 tenths of a degree, usually when on the smallest or biggest cogs. Some combinations go higher than this. Even so, I would expect any compatible combination to keep this chain angle to about 1.2 degrees or less on the smallest or biggest cogs. Here you can see that most group sets I've measured try to keep this angle fairly low, with most of them staying below 0.3 degrees. A few are higher than that, and once again, we see an outlier far to the right at 1.3 degrees. Looking at the data another way, we can again see that the Advent X group is the outlier, although not as much of an outlier as before when compared to the Q's 10-speed group. What's so special about the Advent X group that allows it to work in such an unusual way? 
I believe that the special sauce is in the extreme amount that the guide pulley is angled in the biggest and smallest cogs. As I showed earlier, the guide pulley angles toward the smallest cog by 2.8 degrees and angles toward the biggest cog by 2.4 degrees. This feature allows the derailleur to guide the chain to the cog despite the extreme chain angle. Without the angling of the guide pulley, the chain would likely ghost shift. Why would Microshift design a derailleur this way? In the biggest, easiest cogs, this design puts sideways tension on the chain toward the biggest cogs. This sideways tension allows the derailleur to put more force on the chain toward the biggest cogs, and this makes shifting toward easier cogs quicker. Additionally, the angle of the chain puts it closer to the smaller cogs, making it easier for the derailleur to get the chain to jump off the bigger cogs and onto the smaller cogs. In the small cogs, the roles are reversed. The chain has sideways tension toward the smallest cogs, making shifting toward the smallest cogs quicker. Likewise, the angle of the chain puts it closer to the bigger cogs, making it easier for a tooth on the bigger cog to catch the chain and initiate a shift. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference, and I encourage you to find the info page link in the description to see more information about this derailleur.